Hey guys, what's up? It's Jam Team. Welcome back to another Survive the Night video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the healing in this game. It's been suggested a lot. They've been throwing it in the game. It's been tested in the dev build. And now it's like officially here as a perk and a gear. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at the items here really quick. Under the gear, we have bandages now. This was just introduced in the last update. It's increased health and it heals yourself. But yeah, we actually have a gear here now that heals you in game and it heals you by one hit. So let's say if you're a three hit in the game and you get hit twice, if you go ahead and use bandages, then you will become a two hit, okay? It only heals you by one hit, but it's still very, very useful. One perk that a lot of people seem to be using bandages with is fear battery. And what fear battery does is it recharges your gear when you're near the slasher. Now, of course, you're gonna be near the slasher half the time when you're using bandages because you can only use it when you get hurt and you can only get hurt if the slasher hits you. So you're gonna be right next to the slasher. Right after you take that hit and use your bandages, they're going to recharge pretty fast because you have fear battery on and you're gonna be right next to the slasher. So a lot of people have been using fear battery with this thing and it works out extremely well. There are some other combos as well that we could go ahead and get into, but for right now, fear battery seems to be the go-to perk when using bandages. A lot of people have been looking at other perks such as restorative light just to go ahead and have like a full healing kit combo okay restorative light is the perk that we're also going to go over in this healing video because that is the healing perk the other one that comes up quite a bit is actually adrenaline which is interesting a lot of people have been recommending it and i can only think of like for one certain reason let's say if you get hit by the slasher and then you have adrenaline on you should be able to go ahead and get away faster from the slasher because you get an additional speed boost now when you get hit and your adrenaline should be able to go ahead and actually build up again since you'll be farther away from the slasher since he's going to be slower when he hits you. So I think your adrenaline perk should actually work because for those who don't know, your adrenaline actually starts to decrease when you're near the slasher. But now that you get an additional speed boost and the slasher becomes slower, your adrenaline should work just fine when getting hit. So that'll give you an actual chance to go ahead and use your bandages and continue to run as well. And if not those, then there'd just be other gear recharge perks like spare batteries or sacrificial battery. Let's go ahead and actually look at the perk now. Like we mentioned before, restorative light. This wasn't introduced in the last update, but it was actually introduced in the last, last update. Restorative light increases your health and then your lamp actually heals you and nearby survivors. So this is actually the first healing thing in the game where it doesn't just heal yourself, but it heals other people as well. Again, to that one hit advantage. The amount of Fortnite combos that I've been seeing with this thing is unreal. Okay, first they use bandages and then they use restorative light with a chug jug it's 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 actually not that bad restorative light works out so well when you're playing in a group this perk could be used to your advantage like insanely well because if people are going to go ahead and actually rot gear that isn't the bandage and you're going to actually use stuff that would contribute to your group restorative light could be actually pretty beneficial towards your survival and your group survival if you're going to go ahead and actually play together because you can actually have multiple people go ahead and take hits one by one instead of going down one by one. And then once everyone actually reaches that one hit stage, go ahead and use restorative light, bringing everyone's HP back up. It's actually pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and use bandages and restorative light together. We're going to use that Fortnite combo. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually just use them individually and show you guys what it's all about. Rocking probably restorative light with a group and then bandages by myself. I think I'm going to use that fear battery trick. I've seen so many people go ahead and actually use this Fortnite combo. And the only reason I'm calling it a Fortnite combo is because it's bandages and the chug jug okay they're both from that game like we said before i'm pretty sure the healing with bandages is actually the same emote in in fortnite <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we also got the chug jug as well. So when we use restorative light, it's like we're drinking the chug jug. I've seen people use this combo before. It's basically the two healing things in the game. The healing stuff in the game is like super nice, okay? There's so many types of creations and so many types of combos that people can come up with when healing stuff is introduced in the game. Restorative light just helps the entire group out as well because it heals everyone around you in a proximity. It's sort of like the flare, how it blinds and stuns the slasher in a proximity. The restorative light's kind of the same way. If they're in your and if they're in your little in your little bubble and you use it then it heals everyone i won't lie i'm actually excited to see the future of stn with healing because i uh i wonder how they're gonna go ahead and, and include like a merch version of this because they got to right they've been including merch versions with all new gear and since the bandages is like an entirely new gear i wonder what a merch version would be or if that's even in the question it might not even be in the question either a merch version of like a healing thing might seem to be overpowered but i don't know if there was a merch version of bandages, what would your guys' thoughts be on that? What would be your version of the merch's bandage? See, what I got in my mind right now for my version of the merch's bandages would be like a merch medkit. You go ahead and just drop like a deployable medkit and people can come by and like pick up a medkit and heal themselves and stuff like that. It's like you just deploy a station for healing. People can come and actually grab stuff or just heal right there. 
And that'd actually be pretty cool. I won't lie about that. I don't know where the... Okay, never mind. I know the slashers. I was just gonna say, I don't know where he is, but man just broke a bush. I think for my bonus task, I actually need to go ahead and survive. Like, do successful escapes. So, this is gonna work out really well. We're actually becoming good at this game, right? I just jinxed the whole operation. Watch us get bodied right before 6 a.m. It's bound to happen. No, you know what, guys? When it hits 5 a.m. and you're, and like, you haven't even seen the slasher, but man's coming up to you. If you got restorative light and bandage on, I'd actually feel insanely confident about just winning the game. Because you know how long it's actually gonna take to kill someone if they got bandages and restorative light on? And it's already 5 a.m. into going into 6 a.m. Mans could come up to you right now, and we should still be able to win the game. Okay, that was just a joke, by the way. Don't actually come up to me. Okay, stay in the house. Right when I said that, I heard a door open. It's like he heard me. He's like, say less, bruh. Hey, all right. Well, it hit 6 a.m., and we didn't even get to use the combo. So we're going to go ahead and actually try it one more time. All right, we are back in, in another match. We're going to try this combo, and we're going to see if we can actually use it. Are you excited, guys? You guys excited? All right. Go team. He's coming in here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here, I'll save you, brother. If you get hit, no worries. We've got restorative light on. I'll go ahead and give you another hit. I got you, fam. Oh, he missed. <laughs> oh no, not me. <gasps> bandage, bandage. There we go. Now we're full. Oh, bro. We're about to get bodied so bad right now. <laughs> I didn't actually expect that to work. <laughs> Okay, we use the chug jug. We're out of here. <laughs> I've, I've been expecting to die. Is he just going to give up? I already got my bandages again. We're full health again. Let's just get out of here. Actually, you know what? He just detected, bro. Let's go. Oh my gosh, someone was in there. I'm so sorry. Go for him, not me. <laughs> he did. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just stay in this area. Bro, man gets so confused when I'm on top of this roof. He actually doesn't know what to do. Oh, nope, he hit me. <laughs> we almost got my restorative light on again. We almost got restorative light again. Come on, guys. Pray for me. We're one hit. It's almost here. Yes. Oh, we're full health again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's happening? <laughs> the God combo. The God combo. Dude, I am, like, vastly helping the majority of the population right now that's playing as Survivor. I just ran right into him. Dude, that was embarrassing. That was not supposed to work at all, but it is. <laughs>